Hello, it is Random Palk, and today we're reviewing an actually good Looney Tunes game for Game Boy Color. Yep. Marvin the Martian is trying to blow up the world. It's called Looney Tunes Collector Alert. Now, it's a two-player game, or it can be a two-player, but... We're playing the adventure mode, which is one player only. Because, hell, why not? It's a review. Now, it's kind of like a Zelda-style game, where you journey around and collect different shit, including other companions that you can use. And each companion has their own abilities and shit. Of course, you start off as Bugs Bunny, and that worm and shit does absolutely nothing. So yeah, it's an exploration game, and you can w read those signposts to get hints on how to play. But, I'm not reading the signposts, because I pretty much know what I'm doing. As I walk right into a fucking pit. tell there are a lot of Looney Tunes characters well this whole game is based on Looney Tunes characters so of course there's going to be plenty of Looney Tunes characters both famous and not famous or at least not well known and of course the main villain is Marvin the Martian now for Game Boy the graphics and animations are reasonable like the face of Marvin the Martian is actually reasonably well done and the actual graphics on the characters are decent. So, for Game Boy, it's not bad. Because at least the faces look like what they're supposed to. I know I keep saying Game Boy, but it's obviously Game Boy Color. And like the rabbit running and shit, the animations are decent. Yeah, they're a random boss battle. But the whole point of the game is to collect the ten pieces. I can't go that way. But the whole point of the game is to get the ten pieces of fucking Marvin's fucking machine to save the world. Of course, the Martian goons. Let's face it, how the fuck could it be, uh... Marvin the Martian type shit without the goons? I don't know how to get to that heart. That's probably something you gotta come back for. Cause since it's a Zelda style game, I'm sure there's backtracking. I thought you can't jump over that rock. That. You probably have to go back. 
There's probably something else you gotta do later to get that heart. Because I have a feeling collecting those hearts is important. Just beat Elmer Fudd, so now we got Elmer Fudd as a character. Alright, now we got Elmer Fudd as a character. Like I was saying, as you go through the shit, you can unlock the characters. We found the first radar, or the first item that Marvin needs. So yeah, even though it's pretty, uh, pretty much straightforward, it still has some, like, Zelda-ish aspects. And I do like how you get the different characters that you can switch between. Even though the graphics are decent for Game Boy Color, uh... I will have to say the music gets kind of repetitive. Apparently, we just recruited Daffy. Daffy's ability is to swim underwater. Well, not a terrible ability, but he doesn't seem to be able to do anything else. He can't do anything on land.
So Daffy doesn't have much use except for water areas. Music is annoying as hell. But anyway, that's why you need to collect the hearts. Because you get enough hearts. You get enough hearts, you gain extra hits. It's a good adventure game. It's not terrible. It's actually a decent game uh, for the Game Boy Color. And if I had this when I was a kid, I would have played the hell out of it. It doesn't matter that it's Looney Tunes theme. The game is playable. Why are there so many Elmer Fuds? And why do you keep getting money if there's no shop? Well, anyway, we're probably going to end this review here, mainly because there ain't really anything else to say. And I doubt you want to watch me play the whole fucking game through. Or if you do, it'll probably take more than one video to do it, so probably not going to happen. Right now, I'm just kind of exploring and collecting coins, but yeah, we're about to end this video here. Cause there ain't really, like I said, there's not really anything else to say about the game. It's interesting. It's not terrible at all. I mean... Alright, so that whole thing was just for collecting treasure. Anyway, you want to check this game out? It's actually not a horrible game. As far as Looney Tunes games goes, this one is actually a really good one. Uh, probably one of the best ones I've seen for Looney Tunes. Uh, 
But anyway, we're going to end this one here because there's not really much else to say. So if you like my videos, please subscribe. Uh, this game is definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of Zelda-style type of exploration games or just a fan of Looney.